How's it going, guys? It is 10.39 p.m., 18th of April here in Japan. We have a medium difficulty question for infectious disease for step one and step two, okay? Say medium difficulty in that. Okay, I mean, these organisms aren't the most typical, but nothing dramatic, all right? We're just hopping through here. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give me a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Elman underscore medical, MHL man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel. Down below, and I'll start the clip. 42-year-old man in Alaska, four-day history, worsening fever, myalgias, parabital edema, type 2 diabetes mellitus, managed with metformin, gliburide. He's an avid hunter of deer, fox, and bear. Which the following most likely explanation for the patient's findings. And so let's just whip the answers here. Choice A, a scar, slumbercoides, wrong fucking answer. It's a nematode, roundworm. All you need to know is that this causes intestinal obstruction. Okay, you get it through food. So, I mean, there's fancy details we could discuss. Like it produces rough surfaced eggs in the stool. Bunch of nonsense. Okay, pass fail exam. Just intestinal obstruction, oscariasis. Treat with bendazoles. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, Clonarchus sinensis, wrong fucking answer. It's a trematode fluke. Okay, I've actually mentioned this a couple times in some of my previous videos, mentioned it in my uh, new GI PDF. So this can cause cholangiocarcinoma, which is bile duct cancer. It's a rare cause. Smoking 99% of the time, or idiot slash idiopathic, is what will cause bile duct cancer, but cholangiocarcinoma, fluke trematode, you could be aware clonic sinus uh, can cause it. Praziquantel can be how we treat it. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, leishmaniasis, wrong fucking answer. So what U.S. Simile wants you to know is that you often get this from the Middle East. There's a couple questions on the NBM exam. One says Middle East, the other literally says Iraq. Okay, and this can cause amastigotes. You, that's a that's a term you need to know. Amastigotes within phagocytes, amastigotes within uh, bone marrow cells, as an example, causes pancytopenia. Okay, so you can get a skin lesion. Leishmaniasis, the phlebotomous sand fly. Sand fly is how it's transmitted, but you can get uh, a skin lesion. Uh, on the arm, for instance, and also pancytopenia, Middle East, amastigotes. Wrong fucking answer. Choose D. Tinea solium, wrong fucking answer. So this is going to cause cystercosis, neurocystercosis, cestode, it's pork tapeworm. Okay, so cystercosis going to be uh, cysts within muscle myalgias and neurocystercosis. Three ways, Swiss cheese appearance of the brain. Number one, soap bubbles within ventricles of the brain. Number two and three will just be a singular lesion that sort of looks like uh, toxo, okay? But it'll be in a patient who went to Mexico. And you can treat the neurocystercosis, albendazole cystercosis uh, with just praziquantel. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, trichinosis paralysis, trichinosis, correct answer. So... It's going to present in a patient who ate pork or bear who has a triad of fever, myalgias, and periorbital edema. This is how it presents in 100% of questions if it shows up. So this is a nematode, okay? So nematode uh, being roundworm. So this is pork roundworm or bear roundworm, or as tinea solium is pork tapeworm. Holy shit, okay? So bear meat, classically, they like that. Pork, yes, but bear meat. Alaska is the United States. Okay, so I mean, this can occur, uh, patient sweet polar bear, as an example, okay? So it's something you need to be aware of. Not crazy high yield. Some of you want the infectious disease stuff. You ask me, Mike, make some questions on ID. Okay, so trichinellus spiralis. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. You like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.